and gentlemen, I'm the first speaker of the proposition side debating on whether we should require Korean students to learn a third language. Standing on the proposition side, our side of the house strongly believes that a policy of learning a third language uh, brings about a high level of flexibility, variety, and efficiency, improving the current situation. And in order to win this debate, our side of the house will prove that our policy is necessary <coughs> and provides a number of benefits and can be easily applied in the reality. The first speaker, which is me, will um, clarify the policy and state its necessi necessity. And the second speaker will further elaborate on the policy regarding its uh, benefits and practicality. And the last speaker will sum up the points that we have mentioned and will clarify why we have won this debate. Moving on, we will define required as force by law Korean students as a students from middle school, elementary school, third grade to high school whose nationality is from South Korea and who are situated in South Korea. Furthermore, we define learn as to acquire knowledge of a subject or skill through education or experience. And third language after being selected by the Ministry of Education um, as a language other than one's mother tongue and the second language which is officially learned at school. Globalization is currently taking place at a fast pa fa pace more than ever. Simultaneously, more and more countries are becoming mutually dependent and intimate with each other as their range of activities are not regional but global. In the past, people were capable to sustain their lives just by speaking their mother tongue. However, as trade became prevalent after the country's industrial development occurred, communication turned out to be the main problem. Specifically, in South Korea, after the drastic uh, industrial development that took place in 96, 1960s and 1970s, South Koreans had to speak another language. Uh, uh, South Korean had to speak another language other than Korean to export and re import those resources. For example, as America became one of those uh, most powerful nations in the world after the World War II took place, English was spoken in numerous countries as a second language. And in the 21st century, the globalization integrated different um, countries in which the nations have to rely on each other. These nations economically and politically cooperate with each other, forming, such as forming those nations as EU and ASEAN. <coughs> with the help of um, globalization, some countries are gaining economic and political power. At the same time, their own languages are gaining high recognition. For instance, China is drastically becoming an economically formidable nation with a growth rate of 9% 9 per, 9 by five years, uh, which was according to the Jungang Daily newspaper. With this improvement, the uses of Chinese has steeply increased as the number of Chinese Mandarin immersion that took place throughout uh, America has increased according to the CNN. And our policy <coughs> of learning a third language is an elective course in which students are given opportunity which language to select as their regular courses at least two periods a week. The language selection range will be at most five languages, which are highly influential and contributing a lot to the world. And we are pro the, providing them with diverse choices that can be applied in the real world. Furthermore, with the government approval, the Ministry of Ed Education will hire professional teachers who have passed the measurement test of specific languages. In fact, hiring T teachers will not lower the amount of budget substantially according, according to the Ministry of Education. The applicants who graduated college monthly received 2,500,001, which is relatively minimal compared to the money being invested approximately about 10, in, into the education field, approximately about 10% of the national budget. Moreover, some of the money that are being used for the reconstructing roads and streets, even though there is no need to do so, can be used substituted for the uses of uh, funding those uh, education, recruiting those teachers. And at last, why is our policy <coughs> necessary? As I have mentioned about the impact of the globalization, the usage of language will become more frequent and significant uh, considering that the language are as a major tool for <coughs> international communication because there is a higher possibility of foreign people interacting with each other due to the help of globalization. And specifically, South Koreans are negotiating and interacting with each other with foreigners more than ever. According to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, the international union cases have steeply increased by 23% compared to the last 10 years. And 
So most, uh, most of those people are able to speak English. There are many cases when people are not able to speak those English. People not living in the downtowns, uh, downtowns of different countries may not be able to speak the widely used language. For the sake of bettering the communication and the com comprehension during the process of uh, globalization, a third language will be in inevitable considering those cases. The flexibility to adapt to the society of globalization. The ability to adapt to the rapidly changing reality will be granted via <coughs> learning a third language. Thank you. students are overburdened with their learning English. With $650 billion spent every year on public and private education of English, students are trying their best to master the new language and keep up with the global, global, globalization. But now, unsatisfied education <laughs> administrators are trying to make us learn a digital language and burden us even more. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm the leader of the opposition, Kim sang Lee. And our stance on this motion, this house believes that <coughs> all Korean students learn third language. Is that not all Korean students need to learn third language? Yes, globalization is happening. Yes, the world is getting smaller and smaller. Our team is fully aware, aware of that. But learning another, another language on top of Korean and English is just unnecessary, harmful, and impractical for the Korean students. And even if there's a need for doing this, forcing all Korean students to learn the third language is not the best policy. As the first speaker for the opposition side, I'll first rebut to some of the points raised by the proposition side, <laughs> provide our alternative policy, and go on to my argument that proposition side policy is unnecessary. And the second speaker, Minha, will make her argument that our policy is far more beneficial and practical. And finally, our last speaker, Taeyang, will summarize our points and weep each and every pathetic points made by the property <laughs> side and prove to you that we have won this debate. <laughs> First, I would like to respond to some of the points made by the proposition side. Um, oh, they, they, they have, their policy was providing five languages. <laughs> five languages and provide professional teachers to for each language. But where will they get all the money from? Uh, well, we, why do you think this school's intuition fee is so expensive? It's because of the six different teachers from six different countries that are here to teach different languages. <laughs> <laughs> Not all Korean students need to learn the third language. Those who are not going to have a profession in, in related to international affairs, or those who do not need to interact with foreigners do not need to learn third language. So our alternative policy is this. We will focus on specialization. We will make specialized schools, one per province, and make them available for those who wish to learn third language. They'll be they will be tested for their basic basic capacity and ability learn, to learn third language. 
and then accept it if they are determined to be sufficient enough. They'll be they'll pick one language other than English when they start the school, and we'll have intensive intensive classes, one period, one period, one period each day. This school will be funded by government equally, so pressure on parents of the students will be minimal. Now, I'll go on to argue that not all Korean students need to learn third language. In economics, there's a notion called specialization, where a country specializes in a few products that they have comparative advantage over other countries in the international market, and put almost all their resources only on producing those products. Same notion should be applied to <coughs> learning, uh, learning the third language. Providing the resources required for all students, all students in 2,300 high schools, 3,000 middle schools, and 6,000 elementary schools in Korea is out of government reach. <coughs> However, not all Korean students need to learn another language, as I mentioned before. <coughs> Only those who wish to participate in that area, those who actually need to know the third language, I <coughs> and also those who are capable of learning should learn the third language. I hate to say this, but spending our precious li limited resources on those who do not wish to, do, who do not wish to, and will not make progress and contribute contribute back to our so our society is just a waste. Our second speaker, Mina, will <coughs> elaborate on our points that this policy is uh, harmful and impractical. Thank you. suggested a policy in which only the chosen few will have the chance to learn a third language, a policy that goes against the pursuit of equal opportunities and equalities. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to know that the opposition's policy will disrupt the educational balances between the poor and the rich, further increasing the amount of private education fee. Today, I wish to explain our house's stance by introducing to you an interesting episode have you ever heard of the company Coors, a famous brewing company? Well, they once put its slogan, turn it loose, into Spanish. However, in Spain, this was read as suffer from diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> Who would buy beer that causes diarrhea? <laughs> you could guess that the effect of this ad was not that pretty. Another example of, this, of mistranslation was done by a Scandinavian vacuum manufacturer, Electrolux, who used the following in an American campaign. Nothing sucks like an electrolyte. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to prove today that our policy of requiring Koreans since learn a third language is beneficial and practical. Uh, no, ma'am. It is beneficial because the cost lost by mistranslation of language can be eliminated. And also, students can differentiate themselves from students from other countries that can speak only one or two languages. It is also practical because the students can use their knowledge on certain languages to interact better with people of that language. The I'm examples, no ma'am, the examples above illustrate how mistranslation can be very costly. Coors and Electrolux wasted thousands and even millions of dollars spent on advertising as a result of mistranslation. It also proves why our policy is beneficial. Making the learning of a third language mandatory lowers the chance of inadequate ads and many other costs that have been lost by mistranslation. Another benefit of requiring the learning of a third language is that third language allows, allows students to differentiate themselves. According to a Times article, 
Many prestigious universities today are turning down many gifted students like us with perfect 800 scores in the SAT math exam. And Princeton turned away thousands of high school applicants with 4.0 grade point averages. Competition among students themselves is getting fiercer each moment. And the average scores of standard eight tests taken by students all over the world are increasing every year. Knowing a third language can prove to be very beneficial when applying for a university or even for a job. In no, an, point, sir. no, ma'am. In an advertisement put by the LCM Partners, a company that specializes in providing career advancement for job seekers, it has specifically stated that they are looking for people proficient in spoken and written English and Chinese. Knowing a third language would be a benefit. This bit of example portrays well the current trend in companies to hire people that are fluent in various languages. Not only is knowing a third language beneficial, but it is, it is also very practical. Let's imagine you are in China, a country responsible for about a fifth of the population in the whole world, and also a nation with a market that has great potentials. According to CI World Factbook, 90.9% .9 of the Chinese population is literate in Chinese. And this explains the practicality of our policy and why we need to learn a third language. Basically, if you want to do business in China or do any kinds of businesses with the Chinese, and this doesn't only apply only to China because there are other countries that, has, that also have great potential markets. So it is the most efficient to learn Chinese in order to speak with Chinese. And to cope with a rapidly changing society, our policy provides flexibility, variety, and efficiency. Ladies and gentlemen, learning a third language is no longer optional in this ever fast changing times. It needs to become possible. position on today's motion. This house will require all Korean students to learn a third language. The first speaker, Kim sung Rae, has already provided you the lack of need for propositions, policy, and furthermore elaborated on our alternative, which would prove to be more sufficient than the propositions policy. First, I would like to rebut the arguments made by the second speaker of the pro proposition. And then uh, move on to our policy. Uh, first, uh, the second speaker mentioned about the, that they will provide a good quality of education, uh, good quality of uh, third language education. But how, however, they didn't uh, provide evidences of how exactly they are going to uh, teach the languages. And also, uh, they didn't provide the uh, real practical reasons. Reasons for practicality uh, of how they're going to uh, budget for the uh, the spendings of the education. Uh, now I would like to go on to our own arguments. First, I will prove that the proposition policy is not beneficial at all and even can be harmful. 
Since their policy does not consider students' individual differences, the third language education cannot be efficient for most students. According to our research on the question, who is a good language learner, characteristics such as intelligence, aptitude, motivation, and learning styles determines how well an individual no, thank you, learns a language. So we should let the students choose whether or not to learn a third language, as our first speaker suggested as an alternative. Also, there is an opportunity cost for learning a third language that can be greater than the benefit. It takes time, effort, and money that could be used for studying other subjects. Addition of a new subject compounds more stress on students too. Furthermore, learning a third language when one is not even fluent at their second language can confuse the learner. According to a <coughs> Columbia University research paper by Sharon Murphy, uh, during um, the third language production, the language learner often unintentionally produces interlanguage forms that consists either partially or completely of the second language forms. Uh, the, uh, the situation which most uh, public school Korean students are not, uh, not expert at uh, English language, which is the second language for Korean students. It's likely that uh, the confusion will very uh, the confusion will uh, uh, <clears throat> the confusion will block them from learning the third language efficiently. And looking at the situation of our, our second language education, which is English, we can only expect a very low quality education of the third language. Despite the government's efforts, Korea remains to be 111th on the ranks of IBT scores and 19th out of 20 countries on the IELTS set by Cambridge University. It would be better to provide high quality education to those who actually want to learn the third language and those who have a facility for it than to give everyone a low quality compulsory education. Second, there is no practicality at all in the propositions policy. As we have mentioned before, there are uh, 10,947 schools in Korea right now, including elementary, middle school, and high schools. There needs to be at least one qualified teacher per school, not to mention textbooks for every student. Would the education board or the government have sufficient amount of money to efficiently supply all, this, all these schools? Also, there are 4,500 languages that are spoken by more than 10,000 people in the world, and the officials have to choose what kind of language they will teach to the students. Uh, how is it going to provide, how is the government going to provide sufficient funds and education for all the students to learn the language? Language. Now I have told you how harmful and impractical the proposition's policy is versus relatively beneficial and practical measures the opposition is suggesting. Ladies and gentlemen, if you believe that education, especially that of linguistics, is a matter of focusing and mastering, not that of generalizing and skimming, please vote for our please vote for the opposition. Thank you.
benefit and the practicality of our measures, and then tell you why the opposition wins today's debate. First of all, the need for this actual policy. Yes, we get the fact that globalization is happening right now. Yes, we get the fact that the countries are depending on each other. Yes, we get the fact that communi communication is important. However, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, what do you think is the odds of on any, on any average Korean student to go to rural France or rural Germany or rural Italy or rural Africa for that matter? What are the odds? They have said that the goal of this policy is for, for, so that people can communicate without English or without Korean. However, is anyone, is anyone going to actually get into the situation? The situation of not having, not, not having any tool except for that local, local language. And even if there is a need, need, ladies and gentlemen, even if there is a need that every single student in Korea has to learn a third language, is there really a benefit to their policy? So what they're suggesting is, three times a week, three, three periods a week of th third language. Well, that's probably what we're doing right now, but really, do you really think that we will be fluent by the third grade in Spanish or <laughs> Chinese? Look, how far is Mama Shima or Broken to the Gaias is going to get me when I actually go to China or Italy or Spain? <laughs> is this really going to be beneficial, ladies and gentlemen? How far is the Hama going to get me? They didn't really, they didn't even put so much effort to actually teach these students to be fluent in this language, to master this language. Now, okay, so the benefit is so that we can differentiate and we can go to good schools. I thought this was about globalization and communication, ladies and gentlemen. What the second speaker has said about the universities wanting diverse, whatever, um, diverse students, it's not really a matter of this debate. This debate is about whether the policy meets its goals. And their policy does not, ladies and gentlemen. Whereas our own policy, ladies and gentlemen, we have provided, we have provided you that every student in the specialized schools will get at least one period each day of intensive learning of that language so that they can be masters of it when they actually graduate their high schools. Now, which bargain do you think is more, more beneficial, ladies and gentlemen? Lastly, ladies and gentlemen, their practicality. Okay, I really hate to say this, but our second speaker didn't even give us the measures, give us the specific means of the policy or specific measures of the policy and how practical their policy is going to be. They didn't tell us what they were going to teach and teach the students. They didn't tell, they didn't tell us how much of that, that language will be taught to the students. What all they have said is that when you when you're doing with business with Chinese, it's, it'll be most efficient to speak Chinese. Do you think that honestly is practicality, ladies and gentlemen? Even if I were to categorize that and consider it, and consider it, it would be a benefit. They did not give us any practicality. And do you realize how many schools there are in Korea right now, ladies and gentlemen? It's 1,947, including elementary, junior high, and high schools, ladies and gentlemen. Do you really think that the government fund will be sufficient enough to supply all these schools with professional teachers for each grade, ladies and gentlemen? Five different languages. Do the math. Whereas our, our, our policy, ladies and gentlemen, focuses on nine schools, nine schools, one each province, that specializes in teaching these kids. And I say that is a much fairer bargain than what they're suggesting, ladies and gentlemen. So, this, today's debate boils down to this, ladies and gentlemen. What is the goal of this policy that we're suggesting in the board? It is, yes, as they say, for globalization, for communication. Yes, even if we accept that, is their policy really meeting that goal? Is three periods a week going to be enough for that, to meet that goal? And if you honestly think that the answer is yes to that question, ladies and gentlemen, good luck with the extra work. <laughs> <laughs> today's debate was that is it whether equality versus specialization which is more important so according um, um, 
they were saying that only the special, um, only the selected, mostly rich kids would get the opportunity to learn the third language they they would want to. And our team, our team argued that everyone should have a chance to learn to start learning a new language, whether they do not, they, whether they want to or not to. So um, first, I want to make rebuttals on their arguments. So they asked us, why should everyone learn a third language when e even if they don't need to? So actually, they were asked. Um, no point, ma'am. No, thank you, ma'am. Um, they were actually making our. They were actually talking about our points, which was that that students won't be able to be fluent after even after the edu education system because it will it wouldn't be sufficient. But that was exactly our point because we are not trying to provide students with a with a perfect um, curriculum to teach a perfect language. We were going we were provide we want to provide the students with a chance to learn and start a new language. And if the student wants to learn more advanced levels of that language, they could choose to learn later. On that point, no, thank you. And um, they were talking about the cost, <coughs> that it will be too costly, but we will be paying the new international teachers with the same um, public service, with the public service, service budget, the same we pay other Korean regular teachers. Yeah, and, no, thank you, ma'am. And plus, if the benefit exceeds the cost, then we think that we should <coughs> accept the cost. And that point, ma'am. Oh, thank you, ma'am. And um, Nina was talking about um, students getting mixed up between languages, but we never said that we weren't going to teach other languages. We weren't going to um, reduce Korean or English. We were saying that we were going to add a new subject, and although it, it might be burdensome if it's needed, that we thought it was necessary. And um, uh, they were also talking about the right to choose and that it was deprived from the students. But the students are not actually really wise enough to choose what they should learn or not. And that well, well it, it seems to be like underestimating the students' ability to decide. But look at it this way. Um, if we let the education system be decided by the, in the hands of the students, um, no offense, Mr. Resnick, but no one would be staying in this classroom right now because they wouldn't want to be studying. So, and that was the most. <laughs> and, um, uh, the main, the main flaw in their argument was that specialized schools would promote more privatized private education. It's already a serious problem in Korea and it will aggravate the polarization of wealth as well. So, now the point that you honorable judges must remember is that our policy is carefully planned and ready to roll any minute. We will adopt the elective core system so that the students are provided with a right to choose the language they're interested in. And we will hire professional um, teachers approved by the government. Now, at this point, the limited budget might rise as a problem. However, we could pay these teachers the same way we would pay other regular teachers. And plus, if we, as I said before, if we seek for advantage, we have to face the consequences. And um, to wrap up our own argument, what we're trying to say here is this. Our policy provides flexibility, two, one, flexibility, two, variety, and three, efficiency. Our policy pr provides flexibility because it, it allows the students to it allows the students of Korea to adopt to the rapidly changing world. And second, our policy offers variety because it eliminates the unnecessary costs of mistranslation and also allows students to stick, stick out to stick out in the global competition. Our policy is also efficient because it allows students to inter interact with the people around the globe. Remember our school motto, Koreans branching around the world? Well, it's, this is the perfect case. We really need this policy in this globalized world. Now, it's perfectly true and understandable that many of you guys are actually suffering from the burdens of the third language you're learning, whether it's Spanish or Chinese. But, um, however, this is the time to think what's really neat, what's really good for us um, students. 
So please make a wise decision and support our, our policy.